This is a certified hood classic.
And that is the Zhongli build. Of course it only makes sense for the overpowered Geo Archon to use the most overpowered magic combination in the game, Earth and Glass. And as you saw from the montage, this build is extremely overpowered, so I'm sure you're curious as to what exactly I'm using. I'm using the crown, a power amulet, an arc sphere, Calvus's boots, and Chernix's robe. It doesn't matter what arc sphere you use, as they both give the same amount of power as their substat. Make sure your power amulet is fair. It doesn't matter if you use Calvus's crown or cape, as they both give the same substats. I am using Chernix's robe instead of Calvus's armor, as I want to have some defense incorporated into my build, and I'm using Calvus's boots as they are simply the best boots in the game. If I had the sunken armor, I would use it over Chernix's robe, as it does give attack size instead of attack speed as a substat, and obviously the more attack size you have in this build, the even more unfair it becomes. I also wanted to incorporate some defense into my build, so I wouldn't be full glass cannon and I'd actually have some sort of sustainability and durability in my build. As you see, this robe alone gives me plus 234 defense, which is enough to shoot me up to 1202 HP. Now that is roughly about 250 more than the base 968 HP that most people will be having as they're all trying to run full glass cannon full power. But just because I have defense in my build, doesn't mean I am lacking in my damage. As you see, I have 112 power in my build, which is only 21 off of the maximum amount of power you can currently get. However, that difference of 21 doesn't really mean much, as I still hit for an extreme amount of damage. I am also using the strong enchant on each of my pieces. So this is a really min-maxed build. However, without the enchant, it's still an extremely strong build. As for my magic, my Q and E are both set to the Earth Blast, with the only difference being the Blast and Explosion size. My Q has 100% Blast and Explosion size, whereas my E only has 20% Blast and Explosion size. And this is because I want to mindlessly spam my Q, but if I can get a guaranteed hit off, I want that hit to do more damage and by lowering the blast and explosion size to the lowest amount possible I am greatly increasing the amount of damage it does. As you can see there is a huge difference in the AoE of my Q and E. But like I said I only use my E when I can get a guaranteed hit off or if I need to put out a faster shot as the smaller size makes it travel quicker. As for my ultimate art, I am using my Earth Explosion set to ultimate art. I have its style set to self, its type set to shockwave and its size set to 100%. You can lower this to 80% and get away with it as Earth's AoE is so huge. However, I would still recommend 100% as it really is unfair having such a huge AoE as you can see. As you see, the AoE is extremely big, out of it to show you just how big it really is. As for the style, I have it set to self. If you want to do the most amount of damage possible, make sure you have it set to self. By having it set to placed, even though it is extremely comfortable to be able to put it wherever you want, the amount of damage lost is insane. So make sure you have it set to self if you want to do the most amount of damage. As for the type, I have it set to Shockwave, however you can use Sphere, and I probably should be using Sphere, as Sphere gives it the most vertical and horizontal AoE, while Shockwave only gives it a huge horizontal AoE. However, Shockwave is extremely misleading in its AoE, as the AoE of the attack is in the actual size of the ultimate art. As the name implies, there is a Shockwave that comes out which can damage your opponents, 
and there have been numerous times where my friends have been complaining when I was 1v1ing them about how they were somehow getting hit even though the attack didn't hit them and that's because it leaves a shockwave around the actual attack that can hit your opponents which feels extremely unfair as for the rest of my magic I of course have my pulsar set to 0.5 and 120% I find that 0.5 and 120% is the best combination for pulsar as the 0.5 tick rate increases its damage to roughly about 115 per tick while the 120% size gives it that AoE that is just big enough to somehow hit people behind you. Pulsar in general is just really overpowered, but with Earth's AoE and damage it makes it even more overpowered and just outright stupid. I have my beam set to C which I don't even use really. I have my X set to the non-ultimate arc version of the earth explosion and this is because if my ultimate art is on cooldown then I need to get an explosion off. I have that option available. I also have my aura set to Z and I have it set to power. However you can set it to destruction for a huge AoE but of course power just gives an outright damage buff which makes it extremely, extremely good. As for my glass magic, I have it set to the exact same spells on the exact same key binds, just obviously without my pulsar, my aura, and an ultimate art. And I do this so I have consistency between the two magics and I can just swap between them and spam them. And because they'd be outputting the same attacks, I don't have to worry about accidentally hitting the same button and doing the wrong attack and messing up my combo. And yeah, that's about it for this build. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like. If you have any comments about this build or you want me to upload a separate video on this build to showcase it, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe. See you guys later.